Hi, welcome back. I'm Claudia from Miss Olivia Rose Crafts, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add an LED light to your cake toppers. If you'd like to make this exact topper, you can find the file in my design space profile linked in the description below. Let's begin. We're going to start off with two circles. We're going to change the colors of our circles and the size. The first circle, we're going to change the size to 0 0.33 and the second circle, we're going to change it to 0 0.55. Next, we're going to highlight both circles and center them. We're going to take our circles and hover over our flame on the candle and try to center it as best as you can. If you're wondering why I'm using two circles, it will all make sense once you see what I'm doing. And towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I glue my LED light onto my cake topper. The smallest hole is for the tip of our LED light and the larger hole is for the layers of our cake topper so that our LED light fits comfortably when we glue it onto our topper. We're going to begin slicing each element so that we have a hole that goes all the way through our cake topper. It's really important that you don't move your layers and you only select your smallest circle and the first element you're going to be slicing. The first circle that I'm going to be using is the smallest one, which is the pink, and I just sliced the flame. You're going to select only the circle and the flame and slice. Next, I'm going to be slicing our balloon and I'm gonna use the smallest circle again. We're gonna go ahead and unflatten it because it was flattened and I'm going to select only the darker pink balloon and the pink circle and we're going to slice. For the balloons, I did create an offset which also needs to be sliced and I'm going to be grabbing the smallest circle and the white offset and I'm going to slice it. The only three elements that have the smallest circle are the flame, the balloons, and the white balloon offset. We are now done with our smallest circle and we're going to be deleting our circle cutouts. We're going to delete the pink cutout and we're going to delete the white cutout. Moving on to our layers, we're going to select our circle and our first offset, which is the black one, and we're going to slice. You can delete one of the black circles and we're going to move on to our next layer, which is the gold layer. You're going to select your black circle and the gold layer and you're going to slice. You're going to repeat the same step for our purple layer. Now that we have all of our layers sliced and our hole goes all the way through, we're going to put our cake topper together. I want to just remind you that this file is available in my design space profile. I will link it in the description below. I will also link the LED lights that I use. I use a couple of different LED lights, some solid colored LED lights and some flashing colored LED lights. And this measurement for the circles works just fine for all of them. Again, the smallest circle is 0.33. The second one is 0 0.55. I hope you're enjoying this video and if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment box below. This is my second video of my how-to series and I'm taking video suggestions. If you are struggling with anything and you would like for me to show you how to, please drop your suggestion in the comment box below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel. Now I'm going to show you how I glue my LED light onto my cake topper.
As I'm adding the LED light to my cake topper, I do want to mention there are other ways to achieve the same technique. In this example, I don't want to add a large hole onto my flame, which is the reason why I use the smaller circle, the 0 0.33. As you'll see in a second, I'm going to add my other layers, which have the larger hole cut out. The larger circle cut out, 0 0.55, allows the LED light to sit comfortably in between layers. I could add a couple more layers to this cake topper and the LED light would still fit comfortably and go all the way through. And just as a side note, I don't always use both of these sizes for the LED light. Sometimes I just use 0 0.55 or 0 0.33. It really just depends on the cake topper and the graphic that I want to have an LED light on. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.